Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my this particular video, I am going to show you how we can detect outlier using box plot. Okay. So in my previous video, I have explained in detail about fundamental concept related to box plot, interquartile range, right median, left median, right median, which is also called as Q1 and Q3. Right. All these things I have discussed and uh, given you the fundamental parts of one box whisker plot where this is our box and this particular extended part in lower and upper part are basically whisker right and in the box part the lower edge is basically 25 percent of our data set which is q1 middle cut is basically indicating median and the upper edge of the box is basically 75 indicating 75 percent of the data right and I have discussed how to detect outlier. Simply we will be using this particular formula that is higher outlier will be nothing but those values present in our data which will be more than Q3 plus 1.5 into IQ1. Okay. Lower outlier will be which is lesser than Q1 minus 1.5 into IQ1. Okay. This is what we are going to do now in MATLAB. Right. So see here first I write CLC. Clear all, close all, warning off. Okay. So generally, what we write, then what we will do, we will read one data set which is present in our this current directory itself, my empty cars dot csv. Okay. So empty cars dot csv. Okay. We are reading as table. This data set you can easily get from Kaggle. Just write empty. Uh, cars.csv data Kaggle, you will be getting this. This is basically giving us some information about car. Okay, different car names, model names is there. MPG, HP, okay, uh, there is horsepower. Then uh, many some other features of a car is given, right? Now what we will do, suppose we want to find out the outlier present in this HP column, okay? So what we will do, first of all, we will Extract the uh, quartiles that is 25 percentage, 75 percentage, all this information from our this HP column. Okay, so we can simply write box plot of x dot HP and first let's check what is uh, the box plot looks like. Okay, see our box plot will look like this. What it indicates. It clearly indicates that one outlier is present and that is in upper direction. Okay, higher side outlier, no lower side outlier is present. Cool. So, from this graph, if you want to calculate the median, Q3, Q1, all these values, what you can do, you can go to tools and from tools, you can go to data card side and see just put your data cursor suppose i am putting on the lower edge of the box okay what i will be getting i will be getting simply the 25th percentile which is basically showing here 96 so our q1 is 96 right you can put your data cursor at the middle part okay here see median you will be getting as 123 if you put on upper part you will be getting 75 percentile as 120 right now this is one way to calculate otherwise there is one inbuilt function is present in MATLAB detect the documentation that is nothing but PRCTILE this will give us percentile of a data set first argument input argument will be our original data for which we have to calculate percentile and then next one what percentile we want to calculate and obviously second argument should range from 0 to 100 right suppose you if p value as 25, you will be getting 25th percentile or q1. You are getting 50, then you will be getting median. You are getting giving six, uh, 75, then you will be getting upper uh, uh, median or if you can say q3. Okay, right? all these things I hope you can understand. So, what we can simply do here, we can simply write q1 as which we have got. Uh, using box plot, we have got the value as 96. Let us try to see what value we are getting from this particular inbuilt, fu inbuilt function. Okay, so PRCTILE, okay, Q1 equal to PRCTILE of uh, x dot HP. Okay, 
now just run this line see what value you are getting okay sorry x dot hp comma i want to get 25 percentile okay right run this see you will be getting q1 value as 96 what value we were getting from the graph also right now i will copy this and paste this now suppose i want to get q3 so i will write here 75 okay and you just run this particular section what value of q3 we are getting from graph same value right 180 right then if you want to get media okay a media value i am writing right and then i can just copy this one and paste here and suppose i want 50 uh, percentile okay that is median value if you just run you will be getting 123 so see whatever value you are getting from a graph of box plot we are getting same using this function also right now what we require we require iq what to calculate the outlier right interquartile range which is q3 minus q1 right cool then what should be upper bound of our data set then See, very simple. What is the formula? I have shown you Q3 plus of 1.5 into our IQR. Okay. Lower bound. Okay. Is nothing but Q1 minus of this value. 1.5 into IQR. That's what I have shown you in PDF. Right. Then, what we have seen from box plot that in upper side outlier is present. So, we will be calculating that. So we will be taking the logical index of that x hp that is hp column of x greater than the upper bound okay this will give us 1 or 0 if hp value that horsepower value corresponding that particular low is exceeding this upper bound it will be 1 else it will be 0 now what we will do we have to uh, take that complete row right so g equal to we can write x which is our original data set that row so all that rows we have to extract so y then comma all columns okay for one particular row all columns that is that outlier where outlier is present all the columns we uh, want to take for that row right so giving all columns now let's run the whole code and let's see the output so this is our box plot and if you hit g and enter Okay, see what you will be getting. This is the row corresponding to which we were getting this particular plus symbol, which is basically outlier for our first power. Okay, you can see that first power is quite high, 335, right? So we can understand clearly that this is one outlier, and this is the row where outlier corresponding to first power is present, right? So this is how we can extract the outlier or detect the outlier using the box plot at what time. So, okay, I hope it is clear to you. The code will be posted in the description box or in the comment section if you want to get it there. Thank you for watching.